Okay. But my my question to my question to the whole thing is that Isadora was planning on taking out was taking the feelings of people who have experienced loss. She's trying to take away the pain of people from losing. But whenever you do that, you're actually taking a part, taking away something that's a part of that person. Almost like taking away a giant part of their life that made them hurt. Like pain is a feeling that needs to be felt. And if you take that away, well then there is no points to like making connections to like having a family or anything. I think that's what scares me the most. Someone completed the first three trials. That would be me. It is, and I have. That would be me. How you doing? You are so young. I know. You must be Professor Bacall. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. How did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Okay, hold on. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power. Inhaling she emotions, which is weird. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories. Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganath? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps That's an idea. I hope to hear from Lord Gop soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drill. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> All right. Dang. So how about that? She's been inhaling emotions to give her more power, which is really disturbing. And very alarming. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final candies piece. Okay. Okay, Professor Weasley. Begin. Professor Bins is dead. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, we will address the devastating. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Oh god. Okay. No. No. Okay. Stay stay awake. Stay awake. I have no idea what he was talking about. Follow Professor Ben. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, I, I, I that, no, that, not, not me. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. Where's Professor? Uh, she's somewhere in the greenhouse. into wizarding politics such as here get the ugly some are talented artisans such as Bragbore the boastful okay I know that name Bragbore seems familiar did you say Bragbore I, I think I know that name hmm. well known for his metal work I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived Course. Hogbrook said he was an ancestor of Branwell. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Uh, is she actually in this game? I need to know what she looks like. She's Ginger. I'll tell you that. All right, let's see. Can you tell me where I might find Grimbald Weft? Oh yes, Grimbald Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1750. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his cave. Perched in his case. Abandoning class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Benz's manner of teaching. All right, let's see. Rebellion. I hear something this way. Ah. Grimbald Weft. This is the skull of famed tailor Grimbald Weft whose skilled needlework repaired countless witches and wizards' coats during the Goblin Rebellion of 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill during battle. Oh, yes. So you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I... Is, it was just an old skull. Why didn't you tell us it was just his skull? Well, of course he's just a skull. Everyone knows Grimbold Weft died of dragon. 1753. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Ashbuttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Okay. Standing in eternal but symbolic what watch over the bell tower, the right now? a retinue of loyal knights. Right. That is. Why could you see street is when a bit different than that of Hogwarts? Students will spot the statue of the dragons. Rather in training yards. Oh, I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something. Warm and approachable demeanor. This is a century old likeness of Pandadol. Fearless courage. Is this it? 
Waving Knight Guide pages, this set of armor belongs to Sir Aff Puddle of the Cheerful Countenance. 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 A legendary friendly knight who supposedly won every battle before it was fought by virtue of his amiable negotiating tactics. Some attribute his success to an overly potent cheering charm he casts upon himself. Hello. At least we're out of the classroom. At least. Yes, puppy. So magical as this. Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All the centuries. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Affapuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Affapuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eesh. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Goblins and wizard kind will never trust each other. Yes, well, it takes a cauldron to raise a chispurple, as they say. Yes, it does. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. A wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Okay. I guess that's the end of that class. I regret doing that class. Hey guys, it's Knight here. I'm just here to say, hey, if you liked anything that you saw in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if there's a game that you want me to try out, don't be afraid to just write it down in the comments. I'll be love to see what y'all suggest. And one last thing, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything that comes out. All right, peace out.